<laughs> okay. I, I want to show you a concept. We're not going to do too much with it today. We, we'll pick this up when we get back together on Tuesday of next week. It's the idea of an interval order. We talked earlier in our course about an important class of graphs called interval graphs. There's an equally important class of partial orders that are called interval orders. They arise all over the place in computer science because they involve the routing of tasks through processors. So imagine that you have these jobs. Think, think of the, the intervals as corresponding to jobs. And they have start times and ending times. And so there's a natural partial order in which you say that one job is less than another one when it ends before the other one begins. Comparable jobs can be run on the same processor. Incomparable jobs cannot. Comparable jobs can use the same memory from a linear array. Incomparable jobs <coughs> require disjoint memory because those jobs are going to exist at the same moment in time. So interval orders come up all the time. <clears throat> and the familiar poset, which I've put up there uh, now 52 times, that little six element beauty, is an interval order. And the intervals on the right witness that. So let's, let's study this example together to make sure that we, we agree that the poset on the left is an interval order. See, the top two intervals say A is less than C. But of course, that's reflected in the picture. Uh, look at A and E. Is it clear that the interval for A ends before the interval for E begins? And that's what makes A less than E? Let's take one uh, for which there isn't a comparability, like A and D. A and D are incomparable in the post set. And look at their intervals, and you can see that their intervals overlap. So that's overlapping. Even one point, even the end point, is what makes intervals incomparable. So <clears throat> as, as I've said on several other occasions, there's th three, four minutes worth of study for you to verify that the intervals, which I've illustrated, actually capture this order. Some partial orders are interval orders. Some are not. And the next topic that we're going to take up is, can we answer the question, is P an interval order efficiently? And if yes, how so? And somewhere in the middle, we'll also answer, who cares? Why is that interesting? Why does that do anything? Why are we studying it in Math 312? Why am I paying tuition to hear about this? And we'll answer all of those on Tuesday.